What's happening, Amy? Oh, you know, just hanging out at Union Station. On this rainy morning. It's rainy on and off, but it's kind of, it's, it's moody. It's a it moody. Is, it is moody. But it's always a good day, though, when we're at Union Station. We That's are right. today, we're at the Heritage Festival. Heritage Festival at Union Station, it, it showcases different cultures. Cultures. Different types of dance. Yeah. Different, yeah, what, what, what their heritage is all about. And I like that it's here. Union Station is a, it's a, it's, it's got a big birthday coming up next year, right? It does. The, the anniversary. The 150th, the Cisco Twin. I just say 150 because I can't say Cisco Twin. It, yeah, I don't even want like to. I can't say Worcester sauce. It's kind of what it reminds me you of saying. You just did. But, um, <laughs> but there's a lot of things going on. 150 year anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad. Um, so Ooh, I'm sure we'll pretty talk to people and about that. sparkly people. Sorry, oh, I got distracted. Amy, yeah. Amy has like this thing for glitter. Glitter, like. I'm excited. I All hear right. there's going to be dancing, there's going to be performances today, um, just a cornucopia of heritageness. That's right. And there's glitter right over there, look. I'm just kidding, there's no glitter. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Alrighty, I'm here with my friend Roberta, and Roberta, we haven't seen you around Union Station for quite a little while. That's right. I retired, I think it was in 2013 or 14. Really? It's been that long? It has been. It has been. He bumped his head, so he's, time is off. <laughs> yeah, I, time has no concept to me. I don't know. Yeah. Nor for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're a man of few words. Um, what are we doing here? I think that's a cardboard cut. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. Ready? Okay, try it again. Okay. What are we doing here? We're just hanging out because it, I, can't even make a, I can't even make a fake voice. That's how horrible I am. <laughs> you have an iPad. I'm just uh, experimenting. This is the first time we've used this. Uh, one of our members hooked up a, an auxiliary device to our main controller, and it puts out a Wi-Fi signal. So you can use an iPad, you can use a phone, and you can control your... Uh, locomotive and uh. oh, to get loud. And you're back down here at Union Station. What brings you down here today? Well, I have to. I have to say, as everybody that knows me knows, I love this building, and I, I'm just anxious about its future. I want it to continue. I want it to get better, and I'm very pleased with what the foundation and the city are doing. So that's right. Big things coming up. Also, I there was breakfast. So. Oh, yeah, there was breakfast. There's, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that always helps. Bacon. Yes. We're just here hanging out, checking out Union Station. Awesome. I've had too much coffee. I like your pink tie. We have the same shirt on. We're twins. Sort of. We are twins. <laughs> Remember in the olden days where you, although the only controller you had was a little switch that went back? This is kind, kind of a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Uh, and this is the free version. For $9.99, I can get the deluxe model. Well, you gotta get. I don't know what the hell that does. <laughs> well, the only way to find out is buy it. I'll have to buy it, yeah. All righty, Lee, well, thank you so much for talking with me. I appreciate okay. it. Hey, yeah, you bet. So big things are coming up with the building. Yes, the uh, big uh, fundraising, and, and it sounds very serious. It was things that we tried in the past, but we could never just quite get it together. And I think they have a board now, a foundation board now, that can make it happen. So it's wonderful. So Annie, it's been a minute since we've talked. Yes. What are you doing down here today? Um, today is our Heritage Festival. It is our fourth one, fourth annual, and we have all kinds of entertainment going on. We have 13 different groups that are coming in to perform, all of them from different culture groups around the area. All right, can I get your name? Sarah Singh. And Sarah, what is it that you're doing down here today? So I am from Weber State University Special Collections, and we are down here scanning photographs from Weber or Davis counties. For... To add to the archive. So we are looking for um, school photographs, parades, vacation, recreation, 
anything that deal with Weber and Davis County. Oh, really? So if you have like a cool picture of like a building that doesn't exist anymore, bring love it down so it can be. Oh yeah, love to have it, add it to the history so that it doesn't get lost and it gets saved and preserved. Oh, so you're making the digital version of the history. Yes. I think a lot of people don't realize how important this building is and the things that it brought to Ogden. I think you're right. This is, the, uh, I, I place, although, and by the way, the, their DNA is up there in the rafters. Yeah. <laughs> I say that the, the railroad stopping and, and conjoining here in Ogden made Ogden the most interesting and different community in the state of Utah and for, for areas around talent and graft and, and crime and bootlegging and <laughs> prostitution. Whoa, hey! You know, <laughs> hey, it's all part of the, it's all part of the history. If, if you want a little sunshine, you gotta have some rain, huh? That's right. <laughs> uh, we also have educational activities out in Gallery 51 that are from local museums and local other groups where you can, the kids can come and do an arts and craft project. And then we have informational booths as well out in the lobby. Because that stuff like would disintegrate or would be no good after so long, right? Yeah, and what we run into a lot of times is when grandparents die, people don't know what to do with all their stuff, so they throw it away. And then they find out about us, and they're like, oh, if only I had known, I would have given you all that stuff. So I, we try to make a proactive push saying, bring it down, we'll scan it, we'd love to have originals if you have it, but copies are just as good. Wow, that's good to know. Imagine seeing your, your son off to war. You come to this station and put him on a train to go to what you don't know. To, and then coming home and the joy of getting home. Grandmas and parents, I just love this place. I do too. It's a really cool I, building. Just I the it. vibe every time we're in here, I get so excited. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. So. All right, Rebecca. What the? Or Rebecca. Oh good my Lord. goodness! It's early, Roberta. Roberta. Yeah, it is early. Uh, yeah, you can oh good. <laughs> I kick them too. Okay, Roberta. It's so nice to talk to you again. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Come we're gonna to the go visit center. you. Yeah, I was just oh, gonna yeah. say we're oh. gonna come visit you at the nature center. The nature center. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. We'll go feed some owls. Where did I get Rebecca from? What I want to know is who comes here for education. Pretty much everyone, except you probably, yeah. but yeah. I, I'm unaware of exactly what's happening here, to be honest with you. <laughs> I figured it's kind of... It's a running theme with Farrell. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, so you guys also did the World War II exhibit this year, correct? We did. So that's been a two-year process. We interviewed over 63 people um, that were either veterans or living in this area during World War II and created a huge exhibit upstairs. Um, that looks at World War II in northern Utah. So not only looks at the war fronts, but also Hillfield, the Arsenal, DDO, and then everything that was happening on the home front as well. It, it was very interesting. Me and my son come down, and, and it was a lot of reading, but at the end it was worth it. True. I tell people, don't plan on just coming down and walking through it in a half hour. Yeah. It, it, if you want to sit and read it, it takes a good couple hours. I've had people tell me they've been down three, four, five times to get through all of it because they're so interested and pull so much out of it. I'll let Amy do this one because it's a girly one and... Uh, come, come. All right. Look how colorful. What's your name? Uh, Anai. Ooh. I'll get on this side. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Rosa. Hey, Stephanie. I got it. Leticia. Thank you. Why are you guys so pretty? What are you doing here? <laughs> so we're part of a group over at Weber State. Um, we've been dancing for a few years now. We just go out in our community and dance and perform and represent our culture. Oh, and what kind of dancing would it be called? It's uh, Mexican folklore. Okay. Yeah. And so what are you in charge of at this table here? I am checking in all of the performers. So oh, okay. when they get here, um, I figure out who they are and I put a little check mark next to their name to make sure that they're here to perform. Are you performing? And it's official. No, I'm not performing. Oh, she have not perform. Oh, He's yeah. good. Awesome. So, uh, and I've said this a million times, Old pictures are the best, regardless of, of history or regard, just an old picture are so they're so cool. Yeah, old I mean pictures tell you so much about the history, mm -hmm. um, and they are you know that's true that pictures tell a thousand words, and so sometimes you just see that photograph and it transports people back in time. I love it when people come in and they're like, 
you know, I remember um, Combies on 12th Street when they're cruising the Vard, and that was the turnaround. Yeah. They're like, do you have any photographs? I was like, of course I do. And then they just sit and tell stories about being there and being, you know, driving down and what was there and their favorite food and their favorite drink from that place. So it really is kind of a, an important way to connect with history. And did you start doing this when you were younger? Or you just... I started when I was 15, 16. So actually, this is my 10th year that I've been in the Weaver Se Vale Folklorico. I know Ooh. I'm very old. <laughs> um, but oh yeah. my god, yeah, I was going to say, you yeah, look really old. I started really when old. I was like in uh, junior high, so we, I started my ninth grade year. I'm in college, I'm a college student now, and yeah, we kept uh, going because this is something that we really enjoy doing, right. representing our culture, and not only, this is not only a dance group, but it's also a scholarship program at Weaver State that retains students to uh, keep going to college. I was really worried I was on that list, that's why I looked. <laughs> I don't have any talent at all. Have you like go up and do butterfly and... I can't even do that. Yeah. That's You can sad. dance. You can do it, try it, show us. Show I can't. Us. He is, he's got moves. You have to have moves. <laughs> <laughs> why are you putting me on the spot? I can't do it, I'm not going to do it. Lame chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Annie, well thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah, of course, it was good to see you again. <laughs> so if somebody's got some pictures they think you'd be interested in, how could they get a hold of you? So they can call us up at Special Collections or they can email us at specialcollections at weaver.edu or we're on Facebook as well. Send us a message and we'll get back with them. So what is your what, what is your favorite part about this? Is it the dancing? Is it the dressing up? Is it making people aware of your heritage? What is your favorite thing about this? I think it's a little bit of everything, but most is like that we are uh, letting um, the people know a little bit about our heritage, what we do, and uh, we just don't... Um, Say, like we just don't uh, do this for dancing but we also because this is something that it's really representing us right I love that we're here with the beautiful Cindy what are you doing here today well I got personally invited to come down and I thought I'd try a new experience today's my day to say yes oh good I like that <laughs> do you not get out of the house very often or do you say no a lot I just um, I'm learning to get out. I'm learning to do I new understand. things. It's a it's a learning process. It is. Change. Change is always learning. Also, you get home, you're comfortable. I mean, who who wants to leave the house? They don't have to. Especially when it's raining. It's the best time to come out, though. <laughs> I love the storms. Oh, yeah, that's true. And you know what? You don't have the people out there. Yeah, you gotta that's true. It's less crowded. Yeah. I never thought about that. That's, a, that's ingenious. Oh, no. Now I give away my secret. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone will be out. Today's the day to say yes. Yes. Is there, is there any way, like, say, like somebody myself wants to come up and say, can we just look through your archives? Is that possible? or? Yes, we are open to the public. That is one of the misnomers, is that only Weber State students or faculty can come up. But faculty can come, or anyone can come up, community. And I love it when they tell me, I just want to look at old photos. Yeah. What do you got? And I just bring boxes out and say, go for it. That's really cool. All righty, well, you know what? I may take you up on that offer and I may come please, down. Please do. And then you'll never get rid of me. Sounds good to me. You can spend hours. I mean, that's what I do all day, every day. So, so I love it. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. My pleasure. I think it's important for people to get out and learn about different heritages. I do, too. Because there's so much stereotypical stuff and so much ignorance about it. I think it's, it's good for people to get out and explore that kind of thing. Especially for yes. people like you, because you're yeah, very I'm, ignorant. Yes, I'm extremely <laughs> ignorant. I make assumptions about everything. And that's not even being funny. Can you show us a little dance move? Because I just want Farrell to dance. I'm not dancing. <laughs> Uh, no, you got it? Me once. Oh. Which one? She's just came out of that. See, that's what I want. <laughs> so, what is it that you come to? You just come to check things out? You have a special agenda? I, um, I was surprised by the, the band because I know the young lady in it. Oh. And um, I, I'm a Scott. I'm Ben Lillman Scott. So, I absolutely loved it. It was absolutely amazing. And then watching the new things, like, the little dioramas and uh -huh. the time. If you look just right and you look like a child, I'm sorry, I see things like a child. <laughs> I think we all should. Oh, but it's, I get to see all the wonder in all that. It's yeah. Like seeing the world going by. That's, I like it. I'm the same way. That's why I like doing this because I can ask people questions and not seem so creepy. It's just like information <laughs> for everybody else. I kind of like that idea because <laughs> I ask a lot of questions. Can, can I, I touch this? Please do. Do you want to brush the dog's teeth? <laughs> yeah. What are your names? My name's Alicia. Ooh, you're pretty. I'm Jack. 
Dr. Jack. I like these girls. Please do. So what, what are you guys doing down here today? We are here representing parents as teachers. We are a nonprofit here in Ogden. We work with families in the community. We do home, free home visiting program. So just spreading the word. So teacher or parents as teachers. Yes. Is that kind of like um, don't do things you wouldn't want your kids to do in front of them? Or is that the kind of like the do as I say, not as I do? Sure. That's the philosophy <laughs> of my house. I tell my kids, hey, I used to do it all the time. Don't you do it. So this is the very traditional Jalisco. This dress is from the state of Jalisco. And so this is a turn that we do a lot in the dances from that state. So. Woo! I love it. <laughs> it that was so, so good. beautiful. It's, it's hard with no music, right? Yes. You have to have music. Yes. Well, well, thank time. you so much. Thank, thank you, you for sharing that with us and sharing your story. What did you say yes to? What what drug you out of the house? What what kind of trouble are you getting yourself into? Well, I'm learning that I have to take care of me first before I can take care of oh, anyone else. I always say put your oxygen mask on first. Yep. So I um, I decided that even though I didn't have any guests to come with me, I was going to go anyway and just have a good time. Yep, take yourself on a date. That's how I go to the movies, that's how I go to lunch. Is it teaching parents how to be teachers to their kids? And Some people don't know how to be a parent. Exactly, yeah. So we believe that the parents are the most important, well first of all they're the first teachers that a child has and then the most important influence in their lives. So we try to help them learn more about child development, what to expect, and how to identify the, the parenting behaviors that will help all their kid um, develop um, to their full potential. Yeah. Yeah. That's I just listen to Dr. Laura. She I don't know who that she is. parents me. Dr. Laura does? Yeah. I no, you're making me sit now. I'm like, I'm gonna brush this guy's teeth. Yeah. Now if anybody is interested um, in seeing further performances or what you guys are about, do you have a website or a group that they can go to? Uh, we have a Facebook page uh, where we post all the information. Uh, we also practice uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from four to six, uh, we were State University. Uh, the Sheriff Union Building um, in the Wildcat Theater. Yeah, awesome. they want to get into contact directly with our advisor, who's the one that sets up all our performances and things like that, and correspondence with the community. Um, her number is 801-626-7333. Thank you so much. That's impressive you can remember her phone number, because I, I just, can't. It's because of all phone. the threes. Oh, it's easy is. to remember. I know, people don't remember numbers yeah, these days. Anymore. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I cannot believe in, for one second that you'd ever go to a movie alone. It's my favorite. Because I don't want to hear people like chewing next to me. I want to just watch the movie. You got to talk to them. And I don't want to hear their opinions. Yeah, you know, I just want to watch the movie. Amy's the only opinion that counts. The sweet silence. You've never gone to a movie by yourself? I have. Oh, it's the... I, I just, you're so pretty. I couldn't imagine you ever going alone. Oh my God, it's, I prefer it. I actually prefer it. Yeah. Aww. All right, well, well it's good so to see much. you out and about, and uh, come visit Union Station every chance you get. It's a great place. Thank you. Aw, you're so sweet. Who is this? Yeah, that, that dog has some horrifying His name teeth. Is it's Diente. scary. Diente. Diente the dog. Diente? Yeah, look. He has really nice teeth. Diente, look, watch. Check this out. Oh, he has a tongue. Hola, oh. como estas? <laughs> wow, he's got a full set in there. I'm is a ventriloquist. Does stuff spray out? Huh? He has a little... Does it yeah. <laughs> it's it's that would be actually kind of funny. I'm terrified now. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I'm here with uh, Farrell and. <laughs> oh wait, you're filming. Um, so we're here with Mike, right? Right. What are we doing here? Well, today's the Heritage Festival. It's our fourth annual Heritage Festival. Mm -hmm. So we try to bring a lot of a lot of groups from the valley together to to share their heritage from from their cultural and ethnic heritage, and it's and it's a really cool event. You got quite a diverse uh, group here. We've got Scottish. We've got the Native American dancers coming, right? All kinds of things. Uh huh. And 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 we also have uh, Joe McQueen and his quartet this afternoon. Wow. He's uh, Joe McQueen was a he was a waiter in the in the railroads. He's 98, African American guy, still playing the saxophone. So wow. it's a it's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool event. That's awesome. We'll Both of you. Both yeah. of us. Wow. We're gonna like team up. On yeah, something like that. Okay. Double trouble. Okay. Alrighty. All right, so what's your name? Stan Hirai. And what are you doing here? Uh, we're with the Ogden Buddhist Taiko Group. Ooh, what is that? It's a Japanese drumming, um, yeah, and we do it with, in conjunction with our church here in Ogden, the Ogden Buddhist Church. Oh, I, you know what? I've seen that before, actually. You guys have, like, 
like an array of different types of drums, great big ginormous ones, right. little tiny ones. And right, yeah, all, everything, and we make all our drums too, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw that you guys were here last year, correct? Mm-hmm, yes, yeah. yeah, we were. So we just brought a few activities just to show parents what types of things that we bring to do with their kids in their homes. All of the activities that we have are things that you can make at home, most for the most part at least, um, but really work with development. Like this is one example. We just shoved a few scarves in a tissue box, um, but this is one that works for kids 8 to 14 months especially, just working on their fine motor skills, um, working with their, their finger muscles and all that kind of stuff, also teaching them the importance of taking things out and putting them back, um, oh, yes. kind of this base foundation to clean up. Right, I didn't well learn that one. You did that with my kids. <laughs> I, d I didn't learn that one when I was younger. We were here early today for the breakfast, and you were talking about some exciting things that are happening. What do we have coming up? Well, we got a, we're going to have a benefit concert in July, more than likely, with uh, 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, and, and then in the fall, we're going to be doing some, some other fundraising events that are going to be really fun. Uh, we're working with, with the state commission um, and, and trying to get some, some activity around next year's Golden Spike event, the 150th, the Sesquicentennial. Sesquicentennial. Say that fast. I can't, I can't say it once. Slow. I know, I know. You wouldn't think drum would be much of an instrument other than to keep time with a band? No, it's great. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of yelling and choreography between the drums and things like that. So, yeah, we do. We add a lot to it and hopefully act like we're having fun. There you go. Do you, what do the drums look like? Can you show us? Uh, yeah, they're right over here. We have drums over there, over here. Yep. We're mobile. Do you have any idea how messy a 16-year-old girl's bedroom get? I was once 16, so yes. And I have twins. That's... So, so double that. Yeah. Where, where was you 16 years ago when I needed this guy? <laughs> is there um, an, an age where people should start doing something like this? Um, is there an age cutoff? Because could, yeah. could you come and help him? Because sure. So it. so we start prenatally with kids, and we go up to the age of five. Okay. And so our goal is to have at least two years in the program. That's what they found is the best kind of range for Sorry, kids. Sorry, And so if you. Um, you know, you start prenatal all the way till your kid is two or however you want to do it. Um, but we do consider the family as a whole. It's a very holistic approach and so we provide resources and services to the parents of the ch children. So if they have concerns about their teenage daughter, sure. We are not experts on the topic, but we can look into it and provide community resources and things and whatever can be beneficial to that family. Sesquicentennial. Sesquicentennial. Oh, so you can't say it fast. It's not even a real word. Sesquicentennial. You can't it's say it fast. It's the word for the 150th anniversary celebration. Sesquicentennial. Made up by you. No, if I could no. see it, maybe I could say it. Sesquicentennial. Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, I didn't make it up. No, I, I'm not that smart. Can't, can't we just say 150? 150. 150th anniversary yeah, of the Gold Spike. It's much yeah, easier. So, so we're excited about all of that, and as part of that, we, we, we're going to have we're going to have a dinner next year and, and a ball, and lots of things are going to be going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. Most of the drums were made by group members, and we do have one fellow that kind of takes up and does most of the drum making and upkeep of our drums. Wow. It's uh, yeah, one of the fathers of of of, the, of some of the drummers, and uh, yeah, so Those he's are incredible. Really good. Are they made out of like? Yeah, we in Japan they're made out of one big hollow, um, like tree trunk. But here in the United States, it's hard to find that kind of quality of, of wood because uh, they're just not bred that. The trees aren't bred that way, so we have to use um, uh, whiskey barrels and wine barrels. We take them all apart, put them back together, glue them back together, and then um, yeah, then we uh, use a lashing system to pull the hide over the top and we tack them down. Wow, so, yeah. that's really. Me. Yeah. Where can we find you guys? Do you have a website or Facebook? Or we do. We have all of the above. Yes. And our services are in Spanish also. Ooh. We're really actually trying to get the word out because a lot of people don't know about this program and there's a lot of Hispanic um, families that are in need. So just take that into consideration. <laughs> Absolutely. But we are, um, our phone number for our office is 801-393-3366. We're just up on Harrison Boulevard. Again, it's, um, we are parents as teachers, but our organization is called Prevent Child Abuse Utah. I actually saw your um, billboard. Yes. And I, I shouldn't say while I was driving. I was at a red light. And I, like, Google, I was like, oh, I want to look into that. I don't know why, but I did. I, I saw your website. So that's good. So yeah, you can go to PCAUtah.org. Thanks, lady. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
was going to ask you, how big of a deal is the 150th anniversary? Well, I mean, it's, it's a big deal. I mean, the railroads um, in 1869, when the Transcontinental Railroad was completed, it really brought the east and west of America together. And the people who worked on the railroad, from the Chinese immigrants to the Greek immigrants, African Americans, um, the Mormon pioneers, I mean, it, it just was a, it was a huge undertaking back in the day, and, and, it, and it really changed the, the world. So your church is in... Um yeah, Buddhist Church here in Ogden, Buddhist Church, yeah, we're on 155 North Street. We uh, have different festivals that we do, and we play those. We have our old bone festival coming up on uh, July open 21st. To the yeah, that's open to the public. We have food and drumming and dancing, and also dancing is open to the public, too, so you I can do that. I want to go. I've always wanted to go to a Buddhist church and see what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the type of Buddhism that we that we practice is Jodo Shinshu Buddhism. It's for anybody. You don't have to be a monk or anything like that. Nice. It's, uh, yeah, so... All right, we are here with Holly, and Holly, you're you're the boss down here, right? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm the director. Well, it's the same thing, right? Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> so, what's going on down here today? Today we have the Heritage Festival, and it's a really cool celebration of Ogden's history and our cultural history. So, now I'm confused. Our cultural history and Ogden history. So, what do you have happening down here that entails all that? So we have cultural performances, kids' activities, various community partners that are representing not only the historic heritage, but also our cultural heritage and uh, the kind of the making history come alive aspect of Ogden. Bill and I were out at the uh, promontory for the 149th celebration and there were a ton of people there. I mean, it was crazy. What can you expect for the 150th? Well, they're expecting 15 to 20,000 out there on that on May 10th next year. So, and I think there was probably what 1,500 or 2,000 last. There was a lot. I don't know. And I know that the state commission's working on some things to put up a big so that everybody can see it. They're gonna some of those fields out there. They're gonna put up some some big areas where people can sit and big screens um, where they can where they can actually film what's going on at the rail. Um, so that because you can't put that many people around where they're doing the program and and then they're working on maybe trying to get a concert out there that you know that night too so there's gonna be a lot going on a lot of things and, and we're gonna undertake a major fundraising initiative here to renovate and restore uh, the Union Station you know how like the monks can do two notes at once yeah when I was younger I I swear I, that was like my goal to try to do and I did it once that's impressive <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was we, that yeah. Zen yeah. <laughs> we do some chanting but it's that type of that, that's not part of our practice necessarily right. yeah awesome well, thank you so much for yeah. taking us back here we can't wait to see the all place. right thank you thank you thanks some of the cultural things, heritages of the Ogden and areas? I don't know why I'm pluralizing everything. <laughs> so we have um, uh, lovely groups, uh, Hispanics, Latinos, uh, our um, Japanese and Chinese. We just um, we saw have the bagpipes. And the Scottish, of course. And then we also have performers that are Scandinavian and Polish performances today, as well as um, like Native American and powwow performances. Well. Awesome. Because See, Union Station was like the hub back then, right? Yes, it was the cultural and historic hub. If people want to get involved and, you know, help with the fundraising efforts, what, what, how do they do that? Well, they can contact me at the Union Station Foundation or, or um, you know, just uh, contact somebody down here at the station. They can serve on a committee, um, one of our committees that we're putting together. They can, they can help donate or we're going to have a huge sesquicentennial committee, 150th anniversary committee um, to put all these things together, a big ball and everything. So it, it'll be, yes, yeah, they can contact me or somebody at the Union Station. Awesome. Alrighty, can I get your name? Suryani Oma. From Al Mustafa. We are from Al Mustafa Foundation of Utah. I was just going to ask, and what are you down here doing? Um, so we have a booth here, and our booth um, is showcasing the contributions of Muslims over the years throughout 
you know, to world civilization, to humanity, to um, and we'll, we are also putting up a performance at 1.45 p.m. We'll be put, uh, reprising um, the story of Ibn Battuta. He was a world traveler and it will be played by our friend Phineas Kun. So it's an interfaith project on our part as well. So if, if, do you guys have a website or, or a way people can find out more information? Yes, they can go to www.almustafayuta.org to find out more. See, and it, it's good that they do that kind of thing because I'm so ignorant of other cultures. I just assume people, Scandinavians, stayed in their house all day because it was cold. <laughs> That's what I yeah, not quite. But no, we have, a, especially here at Ogden St uh, Union Station, we have had a tremendous history of people who are um, from various cultural groups. So even just the making and the construction of this building, we had Native American people, the 1889 building. We also had um, Chinese immigrants who helped with the construction of this building. So we had lots of different, and of course with the African American Pullman Porters as well. So there's you have so much information in your brain. Yeah. yeah. How do you keep track of it all? I love Union City. I love Ogden. I do too. I, just, I do too. So much. Yeah. I just love it. So thank you so much for having us here today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. This yeah. with us. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Get out there and. and Help, help with the efforts at Union Station. Such good things happening here. Right? Let's make it work. Right, absolutely. Love it. Thanks, sir. Appreciate your time. What other kinds of things um, are you guys doing down here? The presentation, and are you, are you selling? Well, we are not selling anything because we are a non, uh, non-profit organization. Um, but we have presentations about uh, the mosque, about uh, coffee, about, um, you know, um, renowned Muslims like Zaha Hadid, um, Ibtihaj Muhammad, who we know as a USA Olympics bronze medalist. And so uh, we will also be having youth from different faith groups coming later on about 11.30 onwards, and they will be reenacting the roles as these heroes. Very good. All right, well, thank you so much for talking to me. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. We hope to see you at our booth when the youth are here. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there are a lot of big things coming to Union Station, a lot of exciting things coming. Is there any type of uh, volunteer opportunities? And if somebody wanted to, who would they get in touch with? So if you want to come volunteer, which I highly encourage, it's really fun, um, please talk to Tracy Eric. She's our volunteer coordinator. Um, and you can just come down to the station as well or apply online through our website, which and is theunionstation.org. That's an easy one to remember. And you know what? Tracy is the nicest person in the whole world. Don't, don't be scared to come talk to Tracy. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Can I get your name? Betty. And Betty, what is it you're doing down here today? So I am representing a Islamic historical figure. I'm Razia Sultan. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Like, and look, at, I can't stop staring at that glittery, like this it's, part. It's the glitter. Amy loves glitter. Oh. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so say the person that you're representing again. Razia Sultan. She's the first female ruler of Delhi. Wow. See, I know nothing about this kind of stuff. Well, that's, that's why, why that's we're why we asking questions. Yes, that's exactly. why we need to be here. That's awesome. And then, um, so how did you get involved in all of this? I just have a lot of Muslim friends, and they just kind of roped me in. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love that. But, like, you're going to come down here and dress like that person's name I can't say. I'm not even going to try to say it. <laughs> Razia Sultan. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Very good. So... Um, so your boss just called me and said that they're looking for younger talent, so they want me to take over for the rest of the day because yeah. it's been a while. So you just, you just need to leave. Okay, right. thank you. Farrell, if you leave, I'm leaving. I can't do this without you. That's okay, I can hold down the fort. Okay. I, Farrell, come back. What? what is your name? Raymond Uno. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing in there? Well, we're trying to do... Uh, um, sort of give a little history of the Transcontinental Railroad and 
I'm doing the Japanese part of it because once they completed it, the Chinese were excluded in 1882. And so after 1882, the Japanese started coming and then they took over the work that the Chinese were doing. And what they're doing is uh, giving an example of the type of food that the Chinese ate during this time that they were working on the railroad. All right, so I hear that this place might be a little bit haunted. Can you tell me your story about that? I can. Recently, we had a um, paranormal group here and they accidentally left their recording device upstairs. I think in the Wada Stumpke room or the old timers room. And they forgot about it for a couple of days and then they retrieved it and they listened to it and they got a crazy recording. It sounds like somebody walking around or stomping around at one o'clock in the morning upstairs. Wow, that's really cool. Who do you think it is? It might be you, Hootie. You Hootie? Or, can, or Boots. All right, so um, can you tell me a little bit about what, what you guys are going to be doing today? Are you guys performing? So we'll just be around here and we'll be just kind of explaining the historical figures and how they impacted society today. That's really cool. Can you tell me a little bit about these other historical figures? There's a couple of them wandering around here. Hi. Who are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm supposed to be Sharon Abadi. Can you tell me a little bit about who that is? So Sharon Abadi was actually a judge and a president in Iran and Tehran. Was it just the Chinese people that were doing their own cooking? Or were all the groups, did they all have different kinds the of things? Chinese that they were, were doing their own cooking because they had their own, uh, you know, specialty foods that they were eating. Most of it was uh, uh, things that I think they brought in from California where they had a Japanese, I mean, Chinese community that sold Chinese food and they brought those in. Can you tell me about these two people? Yes. Yehudi is a, uh, he has been a spirit here forever since I've been here since before I've been here he is flirty he will tug your hair tug tug he will poke you in the back I've been poked in the back by him he's quite friendly uh, overly friendly uh, there goes our water um, <laughs> yeah two cases of our water just walked out the door <laughs> do you want to tell me a little bit about who you are bud Oh, uh, I am uh, Muhammad Ali, the what, who I am supposed to be. <laughs> he died two years ago, so recent. He was mainly known as a American boxer, but he was also in a film and two Broadway plays. I was born in Ogden, but I just happened to move to California and I got caught up in the evacuation. And so they put me into a camp for four years. And um, I had an aunt that lived here, so my mother said, you know, we'll go to back to Ogden again. And so when they released us, they gave us $25 and they gave us a ticket to Ogden. And that's all we had with two suitcases that, you know, we brought in and we came back. and so. We know we didn't. Um, we never went back to California, so no, we didn't recover any, any of our property. The second guy, the second uh, ghosty guy, Boots, he um, ha inhabits the uh, bathroom upstairs, the ladies' bathroom. Of course. Why do you call him Boots? Oh, because you only see his boots. He um, he'll come into the bathroom. You'll be in the ladies' room, and then he'll come in and come into the stall next to you and you'll see boots underneath the stall but then when you jump out and slam his door open to shame him he's gone that's terrifying that is someone that i would not want to run into in the bathroom here no, no me neither do you think that these stories draw in more people or do you think that they scare them away it's 50 50. 50 50. well we hope that you viewers don't get scared away by these ghosts come down and try to figure out your own ghost stories and see if you can encounter yahoody or boots all right i'm trying to get my horn together here all right and can you tell me your name my name is joe mcqueen that's it and what are you doing here today i'm supposed to be going to play music i hope that's what i'm here for <laughs> and how long have you been playing <laughs> How long have we been playing? About 85 years. Oh my goodness. That is a very long time. What kind of venues did you used to play back in the day? Well, I played all over the state of Utah, all up, I've been in, all in the Mountain West, 
during World War II, I entertained service people all over the country. And I just, like I said, I've been playing for a long time. I started playing when I was 14 years old, and I'm still doing it. I laid the rail all the way across Nevada. You know, we fixed up the rails. If there are fires there or whatever it is, you know, as a laborer, we used to do that. But uh, it was the hardest work I ever had. I can imagine. And all day long, you know, you'd get a spike mall and you're putting the rails all the way across, you know, wherever was necessary. I hear that you have another ghost story for us. Can you please elaborate? I do. I have a live shadow story. Or is it a shadow of a person or a, uh, what do they call those shadow, a shadow person? Today, I witnessed a shadow person. Today? Where? Today, in the Browning Theater, as the Tycho drummers were performing, there was a shadow person mimicking one of the drummers dancing right behind her. That's terrifying. I'll be 99 years old at the end of this month. Oh my gosh, and you're still going strong on the saxophone. Well, I'm about, I don't know about how strong, but I'm still playing. Oh my goodness, I look forward to hearing you play later. And is this your band? Yes, it is. Do you guys play locally a lot? We play locally all the time. We play every, the last Friday of every month, we play right up the street here at the Lighthouse. Then we play in Salt Lake City the first Thursday of every month at the garage in Salt Lake. Now, my birthday is the third of the month, but the 31st we planned at the Gallivan Center in Salt Lake City. We play, in the, we play up at the, the Egyptian a lot of times, and we play all over the place, you know, up in Logan, all over, you know. When I was uh, 16, I worked out of the Ogden section right here. I worked out of here and uh, worked around uh, Promontory Point, you know, where the rails met, and then I worked on the trestles there also. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. So you have quite the connection to this building and the yeah. railroad in the area. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. It was lovely to talk to you today. Okay. Yeah, have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Did you get this footage on camera by any chance? I did. Oh, my goodness. Who do you think it is down here? I don't know. I've never seen this one before. That's not good. <laughs> Sounds like we have some more ghosts coming down here. Do you think that they were a mean spirit or a good one that just wanted to play the drums? Very happy dancing. Very happy. Well, that's good to hear at least. At least it wasn't some scary person trying to take a drum from someone because that would not have been good. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> wow, you guys seem to get around. That's awesome. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's what I'm glad of. That's why I'm still doing it, I guess, I hope. That's why I'm, I'm still trying to play it at... Uh, at my age, most people are doing other things. They're not playing music, that's for sure. You know, so, uh, yeah, so you got you guys going to be on Channel 17, huh? Yep, and you will be on there. So hopefully some people will come in and see your shows after hearing this interview. Oh, okay, all right. So uh, that's it. I was trying to, trying to get myself together here where we can get ready to play, so... We're supposed to start at 1 o'clock, so... All right. Well, I will get out of your way so you can finish setting up. Thank you for talking to me today. Right. We look forward to hearing you play. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show today, guys. And as you can see, I can obviously do this all by myself. No one puts Feral in a corner. Neither do they, Amy. So... So, thank you so much. We'll, we'll, we'll show you how the pros do this. Watch. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Always make sure you come down to Union Station, even yes. if it's not Heritage Fest, because there's always cool things there's happening. There's cool. There's car museums. There's everything. That's this. Gun museum, which is really cool. I don't think people realize there's an awesome gun museum here. There's lots. The sun's starting to come out. Come on down today if you want. Come on whenever. Or tomorrow. Yeah, that works. We, we will. Thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey. Also, real quick, don't forget about our Facebook page, oh, yeah. Crowd Surfing TV, and our YouTube channel, Crowd Surfing Utah. Yeah, give us a little like. Yeah, like and subscribe. We would appreciate it greatly. And talk to us. If you yeah. have something coming up in the area uh, that you want us to cover, we'll be there. Or if you see something public, please come say hi to us. We're doing a show. Come on, say yeah, hi. If we you want to, like, on. sponsor us, give me free clothes. There you go. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See ya.
Oh, can you show us that clip? I can. See? See? Um, wait a second, Tracy. Isn't that just that girl's shadow? Maybe. I think it might be. I think we've debunked that ghost mystery for now. <laughs>